15 reps, 20 reps, 10 reps, one rep? What is the best way to build muscle? I'm actually gonna show you this and I'm going to explain why. Before Momentum, I was just a personal trainer for 10 years working in a gym. I wanted to help so many people, but I just couldn't reach that amount of people. I then created Momentum with my wife. Now our goal is to help as many people as possible, trying to get them as fit as possible and feeling the best that they can. And we've chosen YouTube to do this. If you want to help us in our mission, subscribe to our channel and share our content. It truly means a lot to us. But let's get started. No, I'm not gonna lie. 10 years ago when I was a personal trainer, I did the typical hypertrophy-based training because I thought that was the best way to build muscle. But now 10 years down the track, I've actually found that this is not exactly the truth. We've got more research in the sports science field and it's time for me to share this with you. This is something that I do with all my clients to help make sure that they get stronger and also don't get injured. Now the first thing that we need to do is define the reps that everyone always uses. Now when I was going through being a personal trainer and being qualified and they might still teach this, this is exactly what they kept saying to us. Four to six reps is for strength, seven to 12 reps is for hypertrophy, and when it goes to the 15 rep range and above, that's more for endurance. Now let's think about this. If I was doing an exercise and I failed between my fourth and sixth rep, as opposed to my eighth and 12th rep when I wanted to build muscle, does that mean I just built pure strength and not muscle? So this is what I was talking about. Now I tried memorizing this, so just forgive me, but I'm gonna have to read it off here. Now this research was done by Bickle and his associates. They had two groups and they were untrained males and their age groups were 20 to 35 and 60 to 75. And for that 16 weeks, they did three days per week, nine sets per session, totaling up to 27 sets per week. In the second phase, when they finished their 16 week training block, they went through another 16 week training block, but this time they split the groups up. Group A went three sets per week, group B did nine sets per week, and group C did no training. Now groups A and B only trained once per week. This is what the results that they found. For those who were trained nine sets per week, they maintained their muscle mass in all their movements. And for those who trained for three sets per week, they were to maintain their muscle mass if they were in the younger age group. But for those who were in the older age groups, they actually had decreased muscle mass. For those who were in both groups A and B who did three sets and nine sets, their strength actually maintained. Needless to say though, the guys who didn't train had decreased muscle mass and decreased strength. Now the recommendation is still to exercise, especially when it comes to building muscle mass. But the question is, what's the rep range that we need to work on? The reps is not as important as you may think, because when it comes to this, it's actually about the volume. Now volume is sets times reps times weight, and I'm gonna show you why the weight and the sets are the two things that you should be focusing on when it comes to building muscle mass. So now we know what volume means. This is sets times reps times weight. And this is why we want to use more than just the reps to help us build muscle. We can also manipulate the other two factors to help us out. So now that we can see that we have sets and reps and also weight, we can see the change in volume as we change the sets and keep the reps and the weight the same. Now we're going to change this up once more. What happens if we just leave the sets to be the same and just focus on the reps? This way, we can find ourselves having 100 on the volume when we have 10 kilos and 10 reps. And we can see 300 when it's 15 reps, and then 400 when it comes to 20 reps. Yes, this is technically more reps and most volume of all this, but doing 20 reps is also very hard. So what we can we do to help increase this? Rather than just focusing on lots of reps, we're gonna just add on the sets. This here we can see is two sets, four sets, and six sets. And we can see the volume being 200, and then the maximum being 600 as well. Now the question you're probably asking me is, couldn't I just do two sets, 200 reps, and do something quite light, like two kilos to help tone up muscle? The answer is no. The reason why is because we're looking at relative intensity. If you're lifting something that's very low in percentage of your one rep max, we will not be inducting what we call the adaptation phase because your body is already adapted towards it. 
Now before I go to my solution, I want to ask you, what do you prefer when it comes to rep ranges? Do you prefer doing high rep ranges between 12 and 15? Or do you prefer doing low rep ranges between 4 and 6? For myself, I prefer the 4 and 6 because I like doing big compound based movements and I like to try and maintain my technique. In conclusion, really you should be trying to do several different types of rep ranges. Day one, maybe go with high rep ranges. Day two, go with lower rep ranges. And day three, don't be afraid to push a little bit higher weights with lower reps. At the end of the day, it needs to be something challenging. All this is, is putting our body through a little bit of strain so we can adapt and become stronger and fitter. If you found this video useful, please share this video with your friends and your family. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel and watch out for our next video next Wednesday.